everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of Tiny Clips for Tiny Tots. <laughs> My name is John Terman, and I play French horn with the Seattle Symphony. Today, however, I will be your guitar picking host as we meet members of the Seattle Symphony brass section. Now, if you've ever been to a Tiny Tots show at the Seattle Symphony, we always start with this little warm up song. It's a call and response song, so when I sing something, you sing it back. Let's try it out. We say hey. We say hi. We say hello. Hello, my friends. We say hey. We say hi. We say hello. Hello, my friends. Let's look around for friends. Let's use our eyes and wave to them. We say hey, we say hi, we say hello, hello my friends. We say hey, we say hi, we say hello, hello my friends. Let's look around for a friend. And remaining six feet away as per CDC guidelines, give an air five to them. We say hey, we say hi, we say hello, hello my friends. One more time, we say hey, we say hi, we say hello. Good job, everyone. Give yourselves a little round of applause. Excellent work. So now it's about time for us to meet our musicians today. And it's been a while since we've been playing together, so <laughs> I'm gonna need your help to sing hello to them with our super easy hello song, which you'll pick up right away. Let's get ready to meet the brass section, starting with David on the trumpet. Hello, David. Hello, David. Hello, David. It's time to say hello. David plays the trumpet. David plays the trumpet. David plays the trumpet. And this is how it sounds. to sing hello to Alexander, also on the trumpet. Hello, Alexander. Hello, Alexander. Hello, Alexander. It's time to say hello. Alexander plays the trumpet. Alexander plays the trumpet. Alexander plays the trumpet. And this is how it sounds. Alexander. Now let's welcome Jeff on the French horn. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. It's time to say hello. Jeff plays the French horn. Jeff plays the French horn. Jeff plays the French horn. And this is how it sounds. Yes! Oh, French horns are so cool! Alright, let's get ready to sing hello to Ko Ichiro on the trombone. Hello, Ko Ichiro. Hello, Ko Ichiro. Hello, Ko Ichiro. It's time to say hello. Ko Ichiro plays the trombone. Ko Ichiro plays the trombone. Ko Ichiro plays the trombone. And this is how it sounds. May the force be with you, Koichiro. And last but certainly not least, let's sing hello to John on the tuba. Hello, John. Hello, John. Hello, John. It's time to say 
hello. John plays the tuba. John plays the tuba. John plays the tuba. And this is how it sounds. so much for helping me sing hello to our musicians. Now that we've heard what they sound like individually, let's see if we can hear what they sound like all together. John, could you give us a little rundown on the piece you're about to play for us? This next piece you're about to hear is from Johann Sebastian Bach called My Spirit Be Joyful. Listen to all the different instruments as they play really fast notes and the music is very exciting. So if you want to dance and joy, go for it. Well, awesome. I'll let the quintet take it away, and I'll be right back. <laughs> joyful after that. And the uh, cup of coffee I drank while I was listening to that beautiful music. Now some of you may be asking yourselves, why is it called a brass instrument? Well, the simple answer is that a brass instrument is any instrument that is made out of metal and that you buzz your lips into a mouthpiece to get a sound on. So most of you know that I also play the French horn, so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration. Every brass musician has to buzz their lips like this to play. And they do that into this little part called the mouthpiece. Kind of a funny sound, right? 
Well, when you put that on the instrument, you get that sound. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> now before we hear another piece, I want to ask a question of our brass musicians. What sets your instrument apart from the other brass instruments? What makes it different? The trumpet is the highest member of the brass family. Trumpets were used back in the olden days to introduce kings and queens with fanfares like this. You can always tell the French horn because it's got this big bell and all these tubes coiled around in the middle and it makes a big gorgeous sound. Those are some really cool facts about the Brass family. Thanks guys. We have one more piece that the musicians have prepared for us. Alexander, would you mind telling us a little bit about this piece? The piece we are about to play for you is the Sonata from Die Bengel Sanger Lieder, which translates from German to English as the Song of the Bench Singers. Since none of us here are actually singers, we're going to sing for you through our brass instruments. Thanks for that, Alexander. While we're listening to how the brass instruments sing, why don't we make a little bit of a game out of this? Let's try to hear which brass instrument is the most important one at any given time. <laughs> so much that was awesome to listen to and I want to thank you all at home for tuning in and learning all about the brass family with me today now before we go if you liked what you heard you can find the pieces from today and many more on the Seattle Symphony Spotify channel under the family programs playlist and now it's the part of the show where we have to sing goodbye this is the same as our hello song but instead of singing hello we're gonna sing goodbye Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, goodbye everyone, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you all again so much, we'll see you next week with more Tiny Clips.